Who are you? I'm Krayshawn. I have some gifts for you. I'm excited. Where are the gifts? Right off the bat. Right off the bat, I have you some Ultra Lounge CDs. I do love some Ultra Lounge. That's crazy. And check out this one. You can play a game with it on the front. What can you tell the people about the Ultra Lounge? I have to say, Ultra Lounge music is the best soundtrack for pretty much any film or anything that's going on. You know, someone can be getting murdered and you will have Ultra Lounge playing in the background and it will make sense. And now you can be playing a game as you're getting murdered in the background. Yeah, and they're f like felt. Feel it. <laughs> Ultra Lounge with Cray. Sean! Now, Cray Sean here, it all goes back, doesn't it, to 1992? 1994! Four! What do we have here? Your first vinyl appearance, the Trash Woman! This is mini, oh, actually this is Big Me. I was a mini me, and I was on this song. Yes, Boys or Toys, track number seven of this particular release. We can tell the people this, like your first vinyl appearance, this really is it, yeah. isn't it? In 1994. Well, you know, I was five years old and uh, my mom was touring and doing all kinds of shit and I just picked up the mic and started freestyling on her karaoke. And uh, actually, I got super big in Japan, but my mom wouldn't let me go. Now, I was curious, for doing this particular take, what happened? Because in the take, you're saying, do I have to do it again? Do I have to do it again? This is you as five or four years old. Well, you know, when it's in the studio, you know, you got to keep doing it over and over again. And uh, I was basically promised some Toys R Us toys when I was done. So I really want to get it over with. So, Krayshawn, back to 1994. Yeah, I mean, I was a music slave since day one. However, you got a shout out earlier than that with this particular band, The Spoiled Brats. Oh my gosh. And who's that on the far right? That's my mommy right there. That's where I get my swag from. No, this is from 1993, another one of her bands. God, she's going to freak out when, you, when she sees this. She probably doesn't even have this. Well, what's amazing, Krayshawn, is you can put those other records down for a second, but pull out the insert of that particular Spoiled Brats record right there. What do we see on the insert there? The insert, on a very little paper insert that's inside there, Krayshawn. Hey, I don't buy a lot of records. It's on Ripoff Records, budget rock at its finest. Oh, dedicated to Natasha, the real Spoiled Brat. I've never seen that before. Now you're getting a shout out there in 93. Damn, I've been in this game, man. Yeah, I love that you're getting a shout out in 93. You're on vinyl in 94. Well, you know, I, I've been working really hard, you know, for the people who say I just came up out of nowhere. I mean, I was getting shout outs in 93. You know what I'm saying? So. But big shout outs to your ma, eh, Elka? Yeah, man, she's she's a woo man. I wish she was still playing music. Maybe maybe you should get her in a band. Well, I'd love if she could get some rocking again because not only did she have Trash Woman, Spoiled Brats, but uh, yet another band. She had the Spastics too. She she was a woman of many bands. She was a band whore. No, I'm just kidding. She made all these bands. And she was in another one like Eight Ball Scratch. What's all the bands that she's in in there that's been happening with the, her? Um, I mean, she's in Eight Ball Scratch, the Glamour Pussies, um, the Spastics. The Spoiled Brats, The Trash Woman. Uh... And you are Cray? And I'm Cray Sean. So Cray Sean, your mom worked at Good Vibrations. What's Good Vibrations? Yeah, my mom worked at Good Vibrations and, uh, you know, she worked in the warehouse. And, uh, it's mainly a dildo uh, sex toy shop. So, you know, I got to see a lot of dildos when I was younger. I was you know, exposed. You did your homework at the Good Vibrations literally, didn't you? Yes, I did my homework there. I g How do you know that? Because you're Cray Sean. <laughs> yeah, I did my homework around a whole bunch of dildos. You know, it's all good. I have another gift for you here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. What is it? We have right here your favorite rapper ever, Miss China. <gasps> China White. Now, China White goes hard, doesn't she? What can you tell the people about China White? I mean, I first heard of China White on uh, the little song, uh, I mean, Lil John Bia Bia. And uh, that was pretty much the hardest female rapper I, I heard. You know, I heard a lot of female rappers, but she was going in. And she was China White. Krishan, what about your favorite crime mob? You love the crime mob. Oh, man, I need to get a fucking record player now. I love crime mob. What can you say about them? Two females in the group. They're going hard too, right? Yeah, Diamond and Princess. Those are my partners. Now, Krayshawn, let's go to Oakland, shall we? Let's go. Now there's...
taco sushi? You like the taco sushi? Yeah, I love taco sushi. Did you bring me some taco sushi? No, I didn't bring you some Zachary's either. What's Zachary's and taco? Tell us about the taco and taco. Fuck Zachary's, man. Fuck that fancy ass pizza. We don't eat that shit in Oakland. That's that's fancy Oakland. We eat at the taco truck in Oakland. Well, what's wrong with it though? Come on, it's legendary Zachary's. That's not in Oakland. It's in Piedmont. Oh, I'm sorry, Crayshawn. Piedmont is not Oakland, okay? They changed their name to Piedmont because they didn't want to be associated with Oakland. The great Sun Ra! Oh, wow. That's interesting. I wonder what's on here. It's some poetry that he's done. I think you're into the Sun Ra, aren't you? Yeah, I love I love the music, but I never heard the poetry. Crayshawn, let's kick into YouTube for a moment, shall we? We shall. Because I saw on YouTube you love the Sun Ra. Yes, you've seen my favorites. I did. Sun Ra, nuclear war. Yeah, that's the jam, man. When you want to get high and space out. Creation 112. That one. Oh my God, I can't wait. Now, 112 is a gift for you because you're getting these guys back together. Please explain the connection between Creation and 112. Well, you know, um, I did lose my virginity to a 112 song, We Can Do It Anywhere. And, uh, you know, so I have a very strong connection with these guys. And I think they made great baby making music. And we need more positive babies being made. Krishan, some people lose their virginity in movie theaters. Blue Streak. This is my favorite movie. And it's also my favorite soundtrack. Now, what makes it so special for you, Krayshawn? Blue Streak. I mean, like, you got Keith Sweat, DeBrat, Raekwon. You got Jay-Z with Girl's Best Friend, which was a huge song. You got Foxy Brown, The Hot Boys, and Big Timers. Are you crazy? And now you can go listen to that. That's for you, Krayshawn. Yeah, did you get me a record player? No, I didn't, actually. <laughs> well, I'll have Your to mom has one. Yeah, she does. I was watching you and little Debbie on Ustream. When was that? Oh, a little while back. Okay. And it said something about it. I'll just be vague. It said something about little Debbie liking to have sex on her head. What was that about? <laughs> I don't know. Were we smoking blunts in this YouTube video? I think you might have been. Yes, exactly. That explains that. Well, let's skip to Lil Susie, another YouTube fave. Oh, yeah. Now, this is going back. What can you say about the Lil Susie there, Crayshawn? Man, I love Lil Susie. I'm a huge fan of freestyle music, Lil Susie, Debbie Deb, you know, all those cats, Stevie B, you know, shouts out to Connie. You know, that's my homegirl, you know what I'm saying? So I'm all about the 80s freestyle. Have you been in contact with a lot of the legends, a lot of the female rapper legends at all, Crayshawn? Well, yeah. Did you hear about my rumor of me dating DeBrat? Yes, and that's why I got you a DeBrat record. <laughs> yeah, this is my girlfriend. So the rumor is she contacted you and you might date her. Well, the rumor was that we've been Skyping each other for months and that we are actually in love. But we're not. But, we're, you know, we're, we're probably going to work together soon. She hit me up to work together, not to have sex together. But, you know, we're definitely going to make some music. Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all, Sean? I just want to say, you know, I'm out here being positive and uh, just being a nice woman in this free world of love and prosperity and uh, wear condoms, recycle, don't drink and drive, and uh, preserve water. And why should people care about Sean? Why should people care? Because I care about you guys. And there's not a lot of artists out there who care. And I care. Well, thanks so much, Sean. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do the loot do. Doodly doot do. I don't need a cigarette. How long are you going to stand like this? Fuck your mama!